Okay, so sorry about that, but we're back. It's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, but wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from he the fight. He walked away from the fight. I put the scraps on him back in boot camp. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion. So I'm Ralph. In my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bomb. Wendell Bauer. I put him away before he jumped for Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Oh crap, now I have Phelps. Wendell Bauer! Stop! LSPD! You can go screw yourself. Why you watch it? He's hiding in the alley! Oh, whoa! Freaking jerk. Got it, I got it. Don't worry, I got him. Give it up, Wendell. Stay the hell away from me. Oh That's You gotta be kidding. You fucking asked for it. That's the dumbest mistake of your life. No way I'm going back inside. Oh god, I thought that was a bigger draft. Thought the it's over, Bowers! You assholes already screwed me once. Woo! Oh, crap. No, 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 no. Give it up, Bowers. There's nowhere left to go. Oh! Looks like we've got the place to Great, because I'd love to beat you up right now, cuz. It's on. Don't. Don't. Oh, oh, Muhammad Ali. Oh, oh, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Oh, I know you don't feel tough when you're getting punched in the face, yo. I know you ain't about it. You ain't about it. Don't knock out shot right there. What you doing, Wendell? Your parole officer's feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You can make it up to him in 10 years' time. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? Uh, I really wasn't running that fast. I mean, he was like a 40-year-old man. It looked like he had a pretty sizable beer gut. And Part of the tradition me. of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de corps. Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, 8. Donahoe, 6. Kowalski, 6. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 2. Leadership. Donahoe, 8. Franklin, <laughs> 7. Merrill, 6. Kowalski, 6. Weiss, 5. Hudson, five. Kelso, one. Candidate Kelso. I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in this schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my Ew, office Hey, what's wrong now. with his head? You ain't gonna make tough decisions with the leadership of frickin' one. It's horrible. I the leadership of a six-year-old schoolgirl. For every cop, there's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up. Gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. This could be the one goal. LAPD, could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. 
Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dick show up. <laughs> I'll be with you in a moment. Ah, oh, crap. Someone got to Broad daylight. Crowded street. Oh, you guys see that thing flash? Everybody stay back. Let us do our job. Uh I don't see much of a fight. I look closer? No? Okay. Nothing on the wall. All right, it's coming down to the left. Okay, it's pretty nice. Other arm. And nothing there. Okay. And look at his body. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, is it, can I just look at the freaking stomach? I don't want to look at this. Oh, there we go. Bank of Arcadia. Pearl earrings, 52.50. Payments made. $4, $8. All right, all right. Yes, it's a dead person. Layaway voucher. C. Galetta. Layaway receipt. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. Why do you put it back? Why can't I just take it? All right, we gotta look around now. Check the whole crime scene before questioning the witness. There we go. It's bullets. Shell case. Point thirty twos, okay. Five. The five? Yeah, it's five of them. Five shell casings. What's going on in here? Uh can I can I help you, sir? Doesn't appear to be connected. Oh, that's cool. I don't know why it vibrated. I'm Officer Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? It's Amy Winehouse. <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name. Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. She got two L's and she said it with an I. Eyewitness. Okay. Shoe store clerk, eyewitness to murder. Okay. Fatal sidewalk shooting incident, 32. Layaway voucher. Let's ask about that. You think you could tell me exactly what happened? Okay. I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, Burst in yelling that I'm late on my what? lunch. You were at the store. We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. It wasn't her. You know what happened and why. I don't know. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. I didn't How say you did anything wrong. Different. I just said you were lying. Layaway voucher. Ah, oh, that was nice. Coletta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying. Tell oh, I'm too nice. Oh, God. I won't lose the hey. earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool. <laughs> you little fool. Mr. Kalu. Edgar Kalu. He runs the jewelry store. He's showing me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage burst in. 
Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel-plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here, and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang, and another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looked very painful. Oh, he got shot, so that doesn't surprise me. How many shots did you hear? Five. It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many. And they were so loud. There's five shots, you fool. I like that. I accept that. I need you to concentrate. Galetta. Yo, so I'm Even killing it. Details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang. Yep, you're and correct. Another, There's five shell casings. And then three very quickly close together. Nice five. math there. They teach you that when you cross the border. <laughs> Which jewelry store? Hartfield. Broadway between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Callow looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling nope, the trigger. No, that's a lie. He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. Nope, I'm doubting it. I'm doubting it. I'm hitting doubt. I'm hitting X. You're making me angry, Miss Galetta. Is that what you want? Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Come Mr. On. Gage. Mr. Gage what? hates Jews. A lot of people do. It's not my fault if he has nice It's your fault that you bought those stupid pearl earrings. 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 We'll need you to make a formal statement about what happened to Mr. Gage. Does that mean I can still collect my... My... Never mind. Yes, officer. Yes, I'll you can keep the pearl earrings. Gosh darn it. Get moving, Ralph. That's all you want. When I'm done. Let's go. The body's been moved. Look at this again. Blah blah blah. P. Martin. That's what we're gonna do. P. Martin. Have to investigate him. Alright, Ralph. We're done. Hey, hey, buddy, I'm done. Want a kiss? No? Okay. Cole. I don't think you're a fool, but what's my opinion against thousands of others? Excuse me? The heck did you just say to me? Okay. I don't know what we're supposed to do now. Am I waiting for him? You wanna look at the trash can? That's the bin. Yeah, he left the gun right there. Hey, I think I see a body. FN Browning. Serial number 01138. Might need to run Okay. Eagleson's gun stores a couple blocks from Alright. Well. Oh god. We have the murder weapon. And the murderer. The girl saw it all. Our killer works at a jewelry store called Hartfields. That's a couple of blocks from here. You thinking what I'm thinking? Tate, maintain the perimeter. Who is he talking to? The other cops over there. Let's go. Ugh, why am I running? Let's go. Is someone gonna tell us what the hell is going on? Let's go there. Oh, Stop light. Oops. Ah. Uh -huh. 
GTA. Ah. Oops. Let's go. Green means go. There's no like yellow lights. Let's just go or stop, I guess. Oh. We're here. Do not worry. Oh, let's go in. Edgar Kalu. Officer. You can interest me in some information. Officer Cole Phelps. Are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Oh, he's escaping. Son of a bitch. Ah, uh, you think I ain't watching enough CSI to know about that? Hey, no, he ain't gonna be. Why is he out back lying down? Hello, get back here! What? I. What? It said aim it at a fleeing suspect, so I thought I was supposed to shoot him. What? That doesn't make any sense. Officer Cole Phelps. Okay, we know what's going on here. Okay. Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. It, okay, he's out I'll back, lying down. He'll buzz him for me. Son of a bitch! Yeah. Hurry, well, thanks. You couldn't have stopped him? I noticed that the first time. I just didn't say anything, but... Kalu! Get back here! There he is, officer. Am I supposed to, like, hit him in the leg or something? Have you know I played running back in the NFL, Kalu? Oh no! Ah ah! Don't make it worse, Kalu. I shouldn't have done that. Where's my? Okay, he's right back there. Ah! Get back here, Kalu! Oh my god! What? I can't. Edgar Kalu, you're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. That took long enough. The case that makes you, and the case that breaks you. The one you never saw, the one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what-ifs, the might-have-beens, the half-leads, the half-truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. Is this the case? God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who knocked our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. Like it's smack him? It takes a certain animal cunning, lad. Well, do you think I don't you think there's cameras back now, back yes, here, sir. back then. I think I am. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all... Is that action. Scarlett Johansson? If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. How are you feeling? I'm feeling okay. Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten so, by the devil. Bring why doesn't the devil unfold. just eat him? This is What's the chance? point of the cat? Don't fail me. 
I'm gonna think that something goes wrong if this is the case I never talk about. Coffee? Has my lawyer arrived yet? That I sucks. My lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. Let's go. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. Hmm. Nothing to do with you, huh? So you shot this guy over the sale of a watch. You think Jewish people are going to continue to take it lying down? Straight and orderly lying what? to the others? <laughs> Not this heat. I say enough is enough. No more. I've just got to keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done. Unless you want to keep making well, a That sucks. Yourself. I already ruined it. You disappointed hey. cold folks. Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy. I need a confession. Okay, well, I have a one in three chance of getting these questions right. So I, I'll just keep failing or something. I don't know. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. I'm going to keep doing this Five to confuse his mind. Gage was a, was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. How are you smoking and doing this? Don't know how I feel. Look at his face. Doesn't look that sad. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. We know all about the argument. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're you're counting on the girl? You think her testimony is Yeah, to a Jew hater. You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. That Jew hated oh, he's Fuck, Jew. Leave me alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Cullen? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. You left-wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn gory <laughs> butt snatcher. You <laughs> are Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Everett Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. Stupid dummy. You think I wouldn't crack the code? Cole Phelps. Done, Officer Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps. Isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the chief of oh. police, young folks. The department yes. needs heroes. A shining, honest face that oh, we yeah. admire. I applaud a man with your talent for a yep, way. Sounds justice. like me. Back to your duties for now, boy. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll Ooh, be thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. I've been promoted. Have you ever seen someone been promoted faster? Pass. Well, I got a promotion, so that's good. Prepare for reassignment. What about my partner in crime? Look at this young biddy in the office. Oh, no, I'm not talking to her. Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. 
Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Zabkowski. No. Heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, Detective. Oh, he's an intense one. Yeah, I am. Now. Intense. The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory. Make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. I love to bust some hookers. Who was that, Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Do they all dress like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. Kid, you don't look any older than me. I like this hat, though. And now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. If it's all right with you, sir. Oh, okay. Ooh. Shh, shh, quiet, everybody. <laughs> Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. Really gave it those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why you war heroes always so modest? I've partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys? He better Stick do some Bukowski. work. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside. I ain't gonna inside. be partners. I'm gonna start you out with one case. You okay, I'll give you a couple more. You screw up. You'll be rousing vagrants and running uh. license plates. Now get down to the P.E. Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda. A patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. Well, <sighs> I want to make homicide. I mean, you know you've made it if you got that desk. Here I go. Exit. This way. Bing Crosby or me. Six years on patrol before I got this desk. You were here in five minutes. What do you want me to say? I didn't ask for any favors. Oh, yeah. I recognize that guy from the papers. Yeah, what up, lady? You trying to get with me? You ought to meet Joe's buddy. He's nice. Let's go. Where's my car? I don't see my car. Is this it? How did he... How the heck did he get up here so fast? I put that seat belt on. He didn't even put it on. He put the motion up. You know this place? Sure. Near the old gas works and signal depot in the warehouse district. I'll direct. So, tell me a little about yourself, Phelps. Are we friends now? We have to work together. Don't be so touchy. Grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. Went to college at Stanford. Christ alive! God, this controller is horrible. I have to switch it out, guys. So give me a couple minutes, and then uh, the next episode. I'm just going to have to go switch it out. But the next episode, uh, we'll get back to it.